yo what's up traders welcome to a new video so in this video i will be going over how to avoid fomo fear of missing out so let's be real for a second have you ever felt that intense urge to jump into a trade because it seems like everyone else was making money right that feeling that if you don't act right now you will miss out on a massive opportunity so if you know what I'm talking about, then you've experienced FOMO, fear of missing out. It's something every trader faces at some point. But what if I told you that FOMO could be one of the biggest obstacles standing between you and profitable trading? All right, imagine this. So you're scrolling through your charts and suddenly one stock or currency pair starts skyrocketing and you see it climbing hear people hyping it up online maybe even your friends are buzzing about it your heart races your palms get a little sweaty and you think i need to get in on this before it's too late but here's the twist by the time everyone hears about these big moves a lot of the potential has already been passed you're often jumping into a wave just as it's about to crash now think about it fomo is like the invisible voice whispering in your ear hurry up don't get left behind but in trading acting fast isn't always acting smart fomo is fueled by emotion not logic or analysis it can trick us into taking trades outside our plan or doubling down on risking decisions just because we don't want to feel left out let's bring this idea to life with a quick story so uh yeah just imagine a young trader named alex and alex sees a forex pair that has been trending all day it's all over the forums people are saying this is it this pair is going to the moon and alex gets that rush that feeling like if you don't buy now yeah they will miss the biggest gain of the week so alex jumps in without doing much research purely out of fear of missing out but just hours later the pair thanks leaving alex with a loss and that's the fomo effect jumping into trades for the trail and not for the strategy so what's really happening here when fomo takes over we start reacting to the crowd not the market and we see that price movement and we want to be part of it like jumping into a train that looks like it's speeding towards switches but without analysis and discipline that train can quickly derail so let's break it down scientifically for a second the brain reacts more intensely to the fear of missing out than the excitement of potential game that's really strange in my opinion but okay and uh, psychologists tell for call this loss aversion and it's a big deal in the trading psychology our brains are hardwired to avoid feeling left out or missing an opportunity and if that opportunity might not actually be in our best interest so when we see a chart spiking or a bunch of traders talking about their big wins that ancient part of our brain says getting quick uh, but real traders successful traders learn to see through the hype and trust their own analysis all right so how do we start taming this fomo beast let's talk about one of the simplest yet most powerful tools for managing fomo your trading plan picture it like a map just like you wouldn't drive across an unfam unfamiliar country without a gps you shouldn't be jumping into trades without a plan and a solid trading plan is what keeps you grounded when emotions start to flare so what does a good trading plan look like start with your entry and your exit points define exactly what you're looking for before you ever hit that buy or sell button for example maybe you decide only to enter a trade if three specific indicators line up 
and that way you're not re reacting to price movements you're acting based on the thought yeah on the thought out process next set your risk level that is crucial without a defined risk level fomo can uh, can tempt you into taking on bigger losses than you'd be comfortable with decide in advance how much of your capital you're willing to risk on each trade and stick to it like glue this keeps you from getting swept up in the moment and here's a small challenge for you consider keeping a trading journal so every time you make a trade jot down why you made it what your goals were and how you felt during the trade over time this journal will reveal patterns in your trading behavior you might start noticing times where fomo influence your decisions and you can use that knowledge to make better choices in the future imagine you're about to step into a big game maybe it's the final match of the season are you just winging it hoping you know what to do when you get there no way no you're strategizing practicing mentally preparing and in trading it's no different you need tools and strategies to stay in control, especially when FOMO starts whispering, come on, don't miss out. One powerful way to stay grounded is to understand your personal trading triggers. A lot of people think trading is all about charts and analysis, but your own psychology is just as important. For example, ask yourself what situations tend to make you feel that itch to trade impulsively is it when you see a rapid price increase uh, when social media starts buzzing about a hot stock uh, identifying these triggers can be a game changer because once you're aware of them you're more likely to stay disciplined when they come up and here's a cool trick for this try keeping a trigger tracker every time you feel FOMO coming on pause and jot down what you were looking at what you felt and why you felt the urge to trade and over time this tracker will reveal patterns you will start noticing hey every time a stock hits a new high or everyone is talking about a certain forex pair that's when i feel fomo this awareness is huge just by recognizing these triggers, you're already taking the first step towards controlling them. Now let's talk about a classic strategy that many successful traders swear by. The 24 hour rule. When you're feeling the urge to enter a trade impulsively, tell yourself you wait 24 hours before actually placing it. Sounds simple, right? But here's the magic. In that time, the initial excitement and emotional rush of FOMO often cools down. It gives you a chance to review the trade objectively, double check your analysis and see if it still aligns with your plan. And let's be real, if a trade is really worthwhile, it will likely still be a good opportunity tomorrow. Here's another powerful approach. You stop orders instead of market orders. Market orders are instant and they play right into FOMO because you can jump in the moment you feel that rush. But stop orders, they require a bit more patience. By setting a stop order, you're telling yourself, if the price reaches this point, then I'll enter the trade. It adds a layer of discipline and prevents you from diving in too soon just because things are heating up. Now, let's lighten things up with an analogy. Think of FOMO like a tempting mirage in a desert. You're thirsty, the sun is beating down, and up ahead, you see an oasis. You want to run towards it, but you've been on enough journeys. You know that sometimes it's just an illusion. Jumping toward it too soon might actually lead you nowhere. Trading with FOMO is similar. That price spikes or, or sudden movements can feel like a guaranteed win. But 
it's often not as, not as promising as it seems. Now let's talk about the power of setting daily trading limits. This might sound restrictive, but trust me, it's one of the best ways to keep FOMO in check. Decide in advance how many trades you're allowed to make in a single day or week. If you have hit that limit, then it's a signal to stop and regroup. This limit acts as a safeguard, preventing you from impulsively jumping into more trades than you planned. And here's the funny part. It actually gives you freedom with a limit in place. You're free to focus on making those few trades count rather than just jumping in and out of positions all day. Now here's a challenge to help you stay disciplined. Try setting up a FOMO free day once a week. On this day, commit to only observing the markets, not trading. Sounds tough, right? But it's like training a muscle. The more you practice holding back, the easier it becomes to stay calm when a real trade opportunity shows up. Think of it as FOMO resistance training. And finally, there's another tool in your arsenal. Distraction techniques. When you feel FOMO creeping up, sometimes the best thing you can do is step away. Go for a quick walk. Read something non-trading related or focus on a different task. Sometimes just a few minutes away from the screen can clear your head and help you come back with a more balanced perspective. Let's talk our of let's take our FOMO defenses to the next level. Now that we have looked at ways to spot and manage those impulses, let's get into how you can stay focused on your path, not the hype. Because here's the thing, FOMO doesn't just happen randomly. It feeds off everything around us, the headlines, social media, and even the trader next to you who brags about their big wins. And if we're going to outsmart it, we need to start by filtering out the noise and narrowing our attention on what really matters. One way to do this is you set up your own metrics for success. Instead of getting caught up in what everyone else is doing, focus on your personal progress. Ask yourself, what's my goal this month? How many successful trades do I want to make? What profit percentage am I aiming for? By setting these benchmarks, you create your own milestones, which help keep you grounded in your plan rather than distracted by every flashy move in the market. Another helpful tool here is visualization. Think about your ideal trading day. When you focus, calm and fully engage in your strategy. This isn't about imagining huge profits or crazy market swings. It's about picturing yourself making rational, disciplined choices. When you start each day with a clear picture of your goal, you set a strong mental foundation that's less likely to be rattled by FOMO. Speaking of setting the tone, another key element is having a morning trading routine. When you have a consistent routine before you start trading, you're giving your brain a chance to settle and focus. This could mean reviewing your trading plan, checking the latest news, or simply taking a few minutes to clear your mind. Think of it as priming your mind for the day an armor against distractions. It's easier to stick to your strategy when you've already set that intention first thing in the morning. But let's get real, there's still going to be a part of you that feels FOMO sometimes. So here's a strategy for handling those tough moments. Reflect on your past wins and losses. Take a look at the trades where you held back and stuck to your plan. Remind yourself of times when you avoided FOMO and saw your patience pay off. On the flip side, remember the trades where FOMO got the better of you. This reflection builds on mental archive of experiences that can help guide your decisions when the pressure is on. Next up is something a bit more tactical. Keep your trading environment distraction free. 
If you're constantly surrounded by notifications, stock alerts or chat room buzzing about the latest trends, it's hard to stay grounded. Silence those alerts and avoid checking social media during your trading hours. The more you can focus on your own plan without outside influence, the easier it becomes to make clear headed decisions. All right. Let's shift gears a bit and talk about diversifying your learning. One common mistake is to follow only a handful of traders or rely on the same sources for trading advice. This creates a bit of an echo chamber where you might start seeing the same ideas and opinions over and over. By learning from multiple sources, you get a broader view of the market, which helps you think critically about every trade. It's hard for FOMO to sneak in when you've already considered different perspectives. A great habit to build is journaling your trades. Now we touch on keeping a trading journal, but let's take it a step further. Instead of only writing down why you entered a trade, note how you were feeling, what external factors were influencing you, and how confident you were in your strategy. This extra layer of detail helps you spot patterns in your trading mindset. Maybe you notice that FOMO strikes hardest on days when you've been watching social media or when you haven't gotten enough sleep. When you know these patterns, you can make adjustments to protect yourself from them. Now, here's an idea you may not have tried yet. Simulate your trading decisions without actually placing them. If you see a trade that triggers that FOMO feeling, mark it down as if you were going to take it. Then let it play out on the side while you focus on your actual planned trades. Track the hypothetical trade alongside your real ones to see how it would have gone. Often seeing how these impulsive decisions turn out in a low stakes environment shows you just how unpredictable they can be. And lastly, talk about rewarding yourself for FOMO free trades. Sometimes you need a little celebration for sticking to your plan. Whether it's something small like treating yourself to your favorite coffee or simply uh, noting it as a win in your journal, acknowledge the times you've successfully avoided FOMO. These small rewards build positive reinforcement around your discipline, making it easier to repeat in the future. One of the most powerful techniques you can use is to create a checklist before every trade. Think of it as your final guardrail, a last minute system check to make sure everything aligns with your plan. Your checklist could look something like this. Does this trade align with my strategy? Is the setup complete? Am I taking this trade based on analysis or emotion? Having this physical list, whether on your screen or in a notebook, brings a layer of accountability and reminds you to stay disciplined. And let's talk about setting realistic expectations. FOMO often comes from the belief that every trade should be a big win or that missing one opportunity means losing out on profits forever. But the truth, successful trading is about consistency, not massive wins every time. Aim for steady growth rather than chasing those jackpot trades. By setting achievable targets, you reduce the pressure to jump on every market movement, making it easier to stick to your plan. Here's another tip. Celebrate your small wins. We often think only big victories deserve recognition. But it's those small disciplined wins that build long-term success. Every time you make a trade based on analysis rather than emotion, that's a win. Whenever you stick to your trading plan and avoid FOMO, that's a win. Treat these moments as milestones. There are signs that you're growing as a trader. And speaking of growth, let's not forget the importance of learning from your losses. Losses are a part of trading. 
they're going to happen and that's okay when you trade it doesn't go your way instead of jumping right back into makeup for it which is classic FOMO behavior take a step back review what happened ask yourself was this loss due to market unpredictably or did I let emotion sway my decision by analyzing your losses you're turning them into lessons which only makes you stronger trader in the long run let's switch it up with a technique that that's often overlooked finding a trading body or community so yeah trading can be a lonely journey especially when you're trying to tackle emotions like FOMO on your own Having someone to check in with, share insights, or even just talk through your decisions can make a big difference. This doesn't mean following someone else trades blindly. It's about accountability. Find someone who respects your trading style and is just as committed to staying disciplined. Sometimes all it takes is a second opinion to keep you from diving into a trade driven by FOMO. And now here's a big one. Take regular breaks from trading. Yeah, I know this one sounds counterproductive, but stepping back even for a day or two can help reset your mindset and give you a fresh perspective. When you're too close to the charts, every small movement can feel like a huge deal and that's when FOMO can start creeping in by taking time off. You allow yourself to return with a clearer head, ready to follow your plan rather than reacting to every price swing. As we bring this all together, let's remember the ultimate goal of these FOMO fighting strategies. To make trading an empower, empowering profitable journey rather than a stressful case. FOMO wants to pull you into every trend, every spike, every bit of hype. But as a disciplined trader, your job is to rise above that noise. Stay committed to your plan and trust in your own analysis. In summary, you now have a whole toolkit to tackle FOMO. You've got your checklist, your personal goals, routines, and a trading journal to keep you grounded. You know how to set limits, build a distraction-free environment and even lean on others for accountability when needed. Each of these tools is designed to help you trade with clarity, not chaos.